Hello everybody, I thought I'd do a bit of an update on the Inkbird 306A, the Wi-Fi version. Um, I've been using these now probably 18 months, something along those lines. Um, they have been bulletproof for me, work very well, they let me know uh, when systems have gone wrong and you know the temperature's too high, too low, all via Wi-Fi on Apple my phone, which is great. Um, so, uh, so just wanted to let you know that it has been going well. Please check out my full in-depth review. But what I would like to say is something I've, I've recently done is put it onto my indoor pond, which is there, uh, just to get an idea of uh, temperatures and stuff which I have in here. And um, what became clear actually when I moved it across is here it is now, and I cannot set the temp below what uh it's uh below 20 degrees celsius basically so that is as low as this will actually go which is a bit of a pain when maybe you want a pond on uh, maybe 12 degrees or maybe just want it above uh five degrees uh which is could could well be a possibility for a koi pond um so speaking to inkbird what it then came to conclusion because looking at the website it does say it'll only go down to 20 um from a point of heating, but it will actually measure temperatures lower than that. Um, and what they said is actually they've revised the model and now anything bought probably within the last year is a new revision, which will allow you go down. And here's the new revision. So you can see, got it set to 14.4 in this one. Um, and yeah, work, works great. Uh, so it's a bit of a shame they had to do that, but it, as in the original didn't work quite how I would want it for a pond. Now you know though, the new versions do. What I will show you, so I have this version here. See, it even says temperature control range, mine, uh, sorry, to 20, 20 Celsius, yeah? Um, and then if we look on this one, range is zero to 45 Celsius. So um, yeah, have a have a look on the back of them and they will tell you as well. I've also noticed in the app, it's a much new revision of firmware. Um, I think the new one is, is something like 2.03 um, and the old one is 1.03. So they've also had a, a bit of a change there as well about how it connects up to Wi-Fi. Haven't had any problems uh, with it so far. So definitely worth taking a look and looking at which revision you have course if you want to be above 20, 20 Celsius, if you do for most fish tanks then that's still perfectly fine but if you want something a bit cooler look for the the um the new revision and look for the details on the back of what you're buying because there's no other way looking at the outside of the box that i could tell the difference so uh, just one to be aware of so hope you enjoyed the update thanks so much for watching